obviously the Constitution Amendment will only feature what's actually written here and not their deliberations or comments. If we were to strike this re-eligibility part as proposed, I want to be clear, would the result be that series are never re-eligible again? Or would it be that they're always re-eligible again? Because it seems to me um, that the clauses we have that say you can't win more than once for the same work would be running up against the question that this is no longer the same work. We've had, nove we've had novellas turned into novels before and become re-eligible. And I do not think for the average voter it would be clear enough what the intent was. So I would have quite a lot of concerns about people's interpretation. As a minimum, we need some ruling here on what you believe this striking out would result in, but I suspect we would probably then need further amendments to the motion after consideration tomorrow. Yeah, I, I would say that um, if we were to strike that the section we're debating, that would allow any series that has three volumes and 240,000 words to be eligible at any point. It has to have one in the previous calendar year, but right. someone who turns one out every year would be eligible every year. Mr. Olson, for what purpose does the member rise? Thank you. Am the, the am point I speaking of, or no? Yeah, but the point of inquiry does... does it, uh, I believe it's clear that the intent of this motion is that a once on the final ballot, a, a work, we, I mean, a series would never be eligible again. Um, my, my inquiry is, given that that intention is clear, would it be possible for the fly specking committee to? No. 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 Okay. Mr. Olson, your motion. Uh, I was on the committee. Uh, I honestly don't care one way or the other about this particular point, but I think Colin's point is extremely valid. Uh, what I will do is I will move to return this to a committee to be appointed by the chair and report back tomorrow with a motion that can be voted up and down where it is well defined what the consequences are in each case. Do we need to debate the motion to refer to committee? No. no. All right, I am going to appoint a committee. Mr. Buff, would you like to serve as chairman? <laughs> Mr. Olson, would you like to serve? <laughs> All right, Mr. Harris, you have the right to appoint members of the committee as you see fit. I would appoint Rachel ex officio. Right. See, see in the next recess if you want to be on it. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we're still having to set debate time. Harris? So now we have to actually set debate time on this. <laughs> Do we have any numbers? Ten. <laughs> no. Mr. Well, I saw Mr. Mathis first and then. <laughs> Question. Hold on. Hold on, Question. and then I'll bring it to you. Winton Matthews, when we are voting on setting time, does that include the report of the committee, or is that separate from actually voting on debate time on the what would be the final amendment? The report of the committee would come out of the debate time of the uh, motion. I yeah, it would in be included in the debate time we currently are setting right now. Okay, thank you. Mr. Yallo. Ben Yallo. Uh, I believe that we sent this motion to committee and therefore it is no longer under the control of the assembly and therefore we cannot set debate times now. We sent the amendment. We sent the amendment to the committee, not the full motion. <laughs> it's now it's now under the control of the committee and therefore I don't believe we can Mr. discuss Chairman? anything further. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe our agenda is still under our control. <laughs> okay, I'm Mike Stern. Wait, 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 I need a second here. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, Mr. Stern, go ahead. Okay, um, you know, uh, my question is how can we set debate time when we don't know what the, the uh, agenda item will be? Because it's out to committee. That was my question. Can I speak for a second? Yes, Mr. Parliamentarian. So, uh, Parliamentarian, we, we, we are in control of our agenda. The debate time is 10 minutes. We have the option of changing that. We have the option of changing it now. We will have the option of changing it tomorrow by motions to extend or reduce the length of time. Mr. Breitbart. Thank you. I didn't know he had a doctor. I move to set the debate time on the amendment to 10 minutes and on the underlying motion to 16 minutes independently, both of those numbers subject to the usual procedure. Fill in the blanks. Second. Second. Okay. For what purpose does the member rise? You're going way too fast for me. Sorry. Parliamentary inquiry. When is it in order to make a motion to uh, move the order t in the time at which we consider the actual motion for uh, the question B21? Not right now while well, that's been seconded, but and right after. after. Yes. Thank you. All right. Do we. Do we need to debate Mr. Breitbart's motion to set 16 and 10, or 10? Just to have two slots. To have two slots. Yes. Well, it's 10 and 16 subject to change. Yes. Okay. All right. Can we get some clarification on 10 for what versus 16? 10 for the amendment, 16 for the underlying best series motion. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mr. Harris. <laughs> Just to help people think about how long they need, my intention is not to consider anything substantive as part of the committee, just to concisely look at making sure the motion does what the intent was, I, just to clean up the wording. So I expect to come back with something simple and concise as a small amendment, probably. All right, the current, yes. Anne Marie Rudolph, um, can we consider different times like 4 and 10 instead of 6 and 14? Yes, we'll do each slot separately. Yes. I rise to make a motion to move the consideration of the best series question until on after e pluribus ugo and for and That's it, not in order at this time because we haven't voted on Mr. Breitbart's oh, motion. <laughs> All right, so now we are moving to set two different debate times, which we will then fill in the blanks on those two debate times, one for the amendment that is going to come out of Mr. Harris's committee and one for the base motion. All those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, all those opposed, please raise your hands. All right, we are in, we have the motion passes. We're now going to fill the debate time for the, the underlying motion first and then do the amendment. Does that work for everybody? It really doesn't make a difference. Miss Secor. I guess this is actually a point of inquiry. Uh, regardless of what order we set the time in, does that control the order in which we consider them, or are we necessarily no. considering? Okay, that was what I wanted. That's why it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> All right, so we're going to set the 